Okay, so let's look at how to form quadratic equation when you're only given the roots. Okay, so when you're only given the roots, your B will be uh, P plus Q and your C will be PQ. Okay, so this is how we're going to write. So first, your P plus Q is negative B over A. Alright? And your PQ will be C over A. Okay, so this is how we form quadratic equation You, if the roots are given. So let me give one simple example so that you can see how this is applied. Okay, now form a quadratic equation with roots 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. So given here, right, 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. So let's say this is our P and this is our Q. Now, to get our B, we have to actually plus, right? So P plus Q. So what is P plus Q? P plus Q is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 will be 5 over 6. Okay. But our, our P plus Q is equal to negative B over A. So we write it as negative 5 over 6. Now, what is our PQ? So, PQ is C over A, right, which is times 1 over 2 times 1 over 3. Okay, so 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 is 1 over 6. Okay, since we have both, okay, this is actually negative B over A and this is C over A. Now, we can write our quadratic equation. So we write as x square minus 5 over 6x, okay, plus 1 over 6 equals 0. So as you can see, we have it in um, fraction form, right? So what if we eliminate the fraction? So how do we do that? We times the entire equation by 6. Here we times 6. So here 6 times x square is 6x square 6 times 5 over 6 we can cut off so we get minus 5 6 times 1 over 6 also we cut off we get plus 1 so we have formed a quadratic equation for the roots 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 so all you need to understand is this part you need to know what is your B and what is your C. So you have to plus the roots to get the B and times the roots to get the C. Now let's look at another example of forming an equation with the following roots. Okay, so if alpha and beta are the roots of this equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 3 equals 0, form an equation with these following roots. For A is alpha minus 3 and beta minus 3. For B is 2 alpha and 2 beta. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to find what are the roots of alpha and beta are actually in numbers. Okay, so first we have 2x squared plus 8x minus 3, correct? So alpha and beta are the roots. So that means alpha should be that means alpha should be what and beta should be what? Okay, so to get uh, the values, first, what is alpha plus beta? Okay, so alpha plus beta is, as we recall previously, if we plus the roots, we get negative b over a, correct? Okay, so what is negative b over a here? Which is negative 8 over 2. Okay, so negative 8 over 2 is negative 4. So alpha plus beta is negative 4. Now, what is uh, the next one? What is alpha times beta when the product of the root? Product of the root will be C over A, which is C is negative 3 over 2. So alpha beta is negative 3 over 2. Since we got this, so let's move on. So in order for us to move on, now you realize why it's crucial that we find the values first, okay? So for A, 
a is the a alpha minus 3 and beta minus 3. So we are going to form an equation for this. So first, we are going to find the sum of roots. Sum of roots is negative b over a, right? So we're going to plus. So alpha minus 3 plus beta minus 3. So alpha plus beta, here is negative 3 minus 3 is minus 6. So what is alpha plus beta? We get the we got the answer here previously. So we just substitute this. So it becomes negative 4 minus 6. So what is negative 4 minus 6? It's negative 10. Okay, so we already got the sum of roots, which is the negative b over a. Next, we need to find the product of roots, okay, which is c over a. Alright, what is c over a? So we are going to times. So alpha minus 3 beta minus 3 okay so here we times the expand as usual so here alpha beta minus 3 alpha minus 3 beta plus 9 so here alpha beta we can uh, factorize 3 out okay so since we have the value of alpha beta we can substitute alpha beta is negative 3 over 2 minus alpha plus beta is negative 4 plus 9 okay so to find the value for this which is negative 3 over 2 3 over 2 minus 3 negative 4 plus 9 so we get 39 over 2 so our product here is 39 over 2 Okay, so now we can form our equation, right? Okay, so we have sum of roots. We have product of roots. I'm just going to write up here. Okay, so when we write down, it becomes x square. Let me use the thicker part. Okay, x square minus. All right, so shall we, shall we write the minus 10 again or we are just going to leave it? Of course, we're going to write this in bracket. Minus 10 okay, x plus our c is 39 over 2 equals to 0. Now, we can times this whole equation by 2. Okay, so times 2. Here also times 2. So what do we get here? Where we times 2. So 2x square here minus minus becomes plus so plus 20x plus 39 equals 0 so this is the final answer of find, forming an equation for part a so now let's look at part b part b we have 2 alpha and 2 beta so the first of course we have to find the sum of roots so for part b we have 2 alpha 2 beta. So first find the sum of roots which is negative b over a, right? Okay. So for negative b over a, we are going to plus this. So 2 alpha plus 2 beta. So we can factorize the 2 out. Alpha plus beta. So what is alpha plus beta? We got the answer here, negative 4. So 2, negative 4. So the answer is negative 8. So we already found our B. Next, we find the product of roots, which is C over A. Okay, so here we are going to times. So 2 alpha times 2 beta. So here becomes 4 alpha beta. So alpha beta's value previously when we find was negative 3 over 2. So we substitute negative 3 over 2 so here we obtain negative 6 now we write the equation okay so using uh, the roots that we have found so it's x square minus negative 8x plus negative 6 okay so here it becomes x square plus 8x minus 6 equals to 0 Okay, so if you can understand this concept, pretty much you can solve any kind of questions that requires you to form a quadratic 
equation. All you need to know is how to find the sum of roots and the product of roots using this. Okay? So keep doing more practices and until I see you in my next video.